But you know, sometimes you know, sometimes a 25 year old teacher falls in love with a 17 year old student. That's not an abomination right. against nature. I mean, that's that that's nature. You know, it, it's a right. funny story. My my grandfather, had he got right. caught doing what he did in 1912, he'd be put in prison today, because he, he rode out to my grandmother's house in in the country on his horse and asked for her hand in marriage. My grandmother was 14. He was like 22. Really? Her her grand my grandfather his her father said no. And my grandpa walked in the house and said, will you marry me? And she said yes. He picked her up, carried her out, put her on her horse, took her to town, and got married. They had 11 kids and were married for 40-some-odd years. Okay, But in today's standards, he would be a child molester. He would be in prison and have to register as a child molester. Okay, I'm not advocating that he uh, should marry 14-year-olds. But, I mean, he was like 22 or 23. So, you know, there was a six- or seven-year age difference. But, again... This is, you know, you know that some of this gets out of control. Now, I'm not advocating by any stretch of the imagination that you should be able to marry 14 yes, years old yes. and all that. But I'm just giving you, you know, a, an idea of the way society looks at things and things ebb and flow. And what's what's horrible today, you know, there there you know there are tribes in Africa where people get married at 10. You know, right, you know, right. society dictates what's bad and what's good as far as this goes. And uh, and you know and sometimes the court system just totally gets out of control. You know there you know there don't get me wrong there are child molesters that need to be locked up forever. There are those people, you know. But the people that say that that child molesters can never be cured are, are just flat wrong. They they haven't read the research. There's oh really? The research that oh absolutely. Now the super hardcore pedophile that's correct. There's something miswired in their brain that you can never fix. But that is that is maybe five or ten percent of the people that are registered sex offenders today fall into that category. So they can be cured. Well, they absolutely they can be treated. You know, there there's studies out that of of all sex offenders arrested and, and convicted, only about seventeen percent of the hardcore ones uh, reoffend. I mean, everybody says that oh they all reoffend, ninety percent reoffend. I mean, it, the research just isn't there. So the the hardcore ones are the ones that basically can't stop, and right. they they're, have a compulsion. You know, they're, that's yeah, they're they're so the bad. you know, and 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 in most sex cases, you have done what are called risk assessments or psychosexual evaluations, and and the doctors are pretty good at at identifying those people. Okay, because there are some people that just fall into the super high risk category, and. And those people, I mean, you just got to watch like a hawk. There's just not much you can do about it. But the people that fall into the low risk categories, you know, in, in these evaluations, you know, very rarely reoffend. 